This is Colin, and this is his Piper Lands. In today's video, we take off out of Cortland County Airport, fly around a few ski resorts, and shoot a night approach back into Binghamton. If you want to see more videos like this, then make sure to stay tuned for future content. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Yep, uh, my name is Colin Valenta. I'm a pharmacist and uh, started flying, I think, in about 2016 or 17. Got my license over about a year and a half or so. Um, kind of did what a lot did, got you know really far along, kind of over the winter things slowed down. I was almost able to finish up but it took until maybe about May of the next year to finally wrap it up. Uh, immediately, I have, a, I have four kids and I think at the time we had two and I kind of knew we were going to have more so I immediately jumped into a six seat Lance, uh, trained in a 172, um, had to do about 25 hours with an instructor for the insurance requirements. but. Wasn't a bad transition, uh, you know, it's retractable, um, high performance and all that, but you, in 25 hours, you can learn a lot with an instructor. So, so it wasn't bad at all. I don't know, I always, I tell people it's kind of like time travel where you can, when you compare it to driving, you know, it's like, oh, we can go to Vermont, but that's, you know, six hours up to Burlington, or you could fly there in an hour and a half or two hours. And it's just, it's like cheating time where it just, you know, if you got a day off or a day or two off, you can actually go somewhere and experience something um, where typically you'd spend the whole day driving to Boston or and coming home this way. You can be there in two hours to Boston, spend the whole day. I've done that to meet my brother out there before and uh, hang out with my nephew there and then fly right back the same day. You know, it just kind of opens up. And I just, and then besides that, I mean, it's never practical financially to fly, but the fun factor there, I just also enjoy just going up, looking around, uh, when I haven't done a family trip in a little while, yeah, it's fun every week or two to just make sure you go up, stay fresh on your skills, and uh, just it's kind of just neat to see the scenery. Upstate New York's a nice area. We got the Finger Lakes, that around axe. Uh, Pennsylvania's got a lot of nice mountains to look at and a lot of lakes. It's really neat. Cortland County traffic lands 118. Echo Sierra is taking runway 6 to be straight out to departure, Cortland County. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And you're clear on the right. Yeah, it does look good. Okay. Sure. Right, right, right. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. So is that the, the open position or is that, oh, gotcha. Yeah, it's cool to see how like different complex airplanes have the layout. Cause like, I mean, they're all pretty similar, but I mean like the Mooney is the, is the only airplane I've flown that's like that. It gears up here, you know, cow flaps are over, bags are over, RPM's over here. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty nice though at cruise. Cortland County traffic lands 118, Echo Sierra is off of runway 6, exiting the airspace to the east, last call, Cortland. He was a flight instructor, so we went over there in an uh, archer that he teaches in, and that was pretty cool. Yeah, it's a good picture. It's tough, it always looks cooler in person, but that looks pretty good. Yeah, that yeah, looks, looks good. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, those down there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Traffic in sight, eight echoes here. Is that a different one? Or? Yeah, I'll ask him. Hey Tyler, just to confirm for eight echoes here, is that traffic on the runway or is that the Cessna that departed that's on downwind now? Roger, eight echoes here. Gotcha. I apologize for only being able to hear me. I'm not really sure why that happened. It's never happened to me before. But if you still enjoyed this video, then make sure to go down below and let me know by clicking that like button, dropping a comment on this video, and clicking subscribe so you never miss another one of my videos. Until next week, I want you to stay current, stay proficient, keep the blue side up, keep flying safe everybody, and we will see you in the next video.